Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. In this tutorial, I'll show how to crochet with beads using three different methods. There are many different types of beads available. The ones that work the best with crochet are those that have a larger center space. This helps accommodate the yarn and sometimes even the crochet hook. The key to deciding which method to use with attaching the beads depends upon the size of the bead and whether the crochet hook can easily fit through the center of the bead. At the same time, the crochet hook needs to also be able to work with the yarn without having it fall off the hook. Sometimes accommodations need to be made to work with the bead, including using a smaller crochet hook. I often find that crochet hooks with the flatter top section do better when working with beads. The first method I'll show consists of using a crochet hook and yarn that can accommodate the bead and the bead can easily be placed on the crochet hook one at a time as one crochets. This method is probably the easiest as beads can be placed without having to figure out how many beads need to be placed on the yarn first, which I show in method three. Any type of stitch can be made with the bead. I'm doing a slip stitch followed by a single crochet in the next stitch, mostly because it's one of the easiest to do. However, single crochet, double crochet, or any other common stitch can also be used. So I place the next bead on my crochet hook and then insert my crochet hook into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and then finish the slip stitch by pulling that loop through both the bead and the one loop on my hook. Sometimes the yarn splits a bit because the hook size is probably a bit smaller than what it should be for using this type of medium yarn, but that is easily corrected. Continue placing beads as needed across the row. Then I'm making single crochet stitches in the stitches where beads will not be placed. I turn my work, chain one, and continue on the next row with just single crochet stitches because I want a row of spaces in between my beads. Continue with this method for as many rows and stitches as needed. Now for method two, I have a problem. My smallest crochet hook that can accommodate my yarn does not fit these much smaller beads. Since I won't be able to use method one, I'll have to switch over to method two. Method two relies on a much smaller crochet hook. This will be able to fit the bead. However, I won't be able to crochet with it, but that's okay because all I need it for is to go into the center of the bead and place the bead on the loop of my crochet hook so that I can continue crocheting. At this point with the bead on the loop, I can make any crochet stitch that I want. I'm making a slip stitch again, but other stitches can be used as well. I like to place a single crochet spacer in between the beads, but again, that's optional and beads can be placed one right after another as well. And then I repeat the process. I take out my crochet hook and then use the much smaller crochet hook to place the bead onto the loop of my crochet work. Then I can proceed with making any stitch to connect the bead to my work. Now in method three, I have a problem again. This time the problem is I need to use a lot of beads for many stitches. Plus the center is really tiny with the beads I'm using. So in this method, I find loading the beads all at once on the yarn before I even work is a much better option. To determine how many beads need to be loaded onto the yarn first, I usually do a sample of four inches by four inches. If I end up using 16 beads in that four inch by four inch sample, then I know I can use multiplication to determine how many beads I need in a 20 inch by 20 inch sample. When crocheting using this method, the bead oftentimes ends up in the back of the work and many times that's okay as long as there is consistency and the final project will have the beads facing forward. However, there is a way to make the bead go in the front of the work. The key is placing the crochet hook behind the yarn first and then finishing the single crochet or whatever other stitch is used. Once that stitch is placed, the next bead is moved along the yarn and placed right next to the last stitch. In this case, I'm making a single crochet. As mentioned, any stitch pattern can be used to create different looks in the work. Continue moving beads along the yarn and placing them next to the last stitch to incorporate the bead in the work. I like to place a plain row in between the beads, but as always, that's an optional step. Continue with this method for as many rows as needed. And that's it. That's how I crochet with beads.